Any questions? And if it's all about how these microscopes work and telescopes work, please do not ask me. Governor, the Massapequa Board of Education in Nassau County here, for Bruce Blakeman as the county executive. Last night they passed a motion giving staff and students the option of whether to wear a mask or not in school, starting on February 21st. This is a direct contradiction of your statewide order. What is your reaction, and what do you plan to do about this? And secondly, we also have on the line here Connecticut Connect High School where the teachers' union says that the situation is, quote, out of control, with most students walking the halls with the mask under the nose or the chin or no mask at all. Again, what do you plan to do about this direct challenge to your authority? So far, you have not really taken any actions on these challenges, though previously this month you asserted you are not a pushover. Okay, so first of all, I'm not a pushover. And I've not taken an action because these actions occurred yesterday. So uh, you got to give me a little more time. I think it's been less than 24 hours since uh, they made a statement related to this. So that's the reality that I'm dealing with. But also, personally as a parent, I find it phenomenally disappointing that people are willing to play politics with children's lives. And you heard what I said, schools were the safer place for children, not when they went home. They got sick when they went home during the holidays. Schools are safe, and why are they safe? Because people have been wearing masks, kids have been wearing masks, and they're adapting to it. It's not something we're going to keep much longer. We know we don't have to, but this has kept children safe and in a, a learning environment. And I fully expect school boards and other leaders to recognize how important this has been and why our children are safer. We're seeing fewer hospitalized, fewer sicker because they've been able to be in an environment like a school where they have been enforcing this. Now, my understanding is what the first school district said was that they're going to, when the state mandate lapses, according to the resolution, that they won't follow it. When you think about that, break that down, that's actually what we expect. When a state mandate lapses, I expect all school districts will say we don't have to do this anymore. So I'm not sure what they were trying to say on that front, but let, let me, newsflash, when the state requirements lapse, everybody cannot follow them any longer. So there, there we go. And with respect. Is there a February 21st expiration date on that? No, there, there, there could be before then, we don't know. I mean, I'm gonna continue to use the element of time and at the right time, assess where we are. When we put this in place, we fully expected that we would have no longer a need for a mask mandate in schools until November 26th when Omicron hit because we are trending down in a beautiful way with Delta and I foresaw on the horizon that we'd be almost done with this and then unforeseen circumstances. So I'd be negligent if I said now on a certain date something's going to happen. And I think people respect that. Those who are not just playing politics and trying to get headlines will understand that. And I'm going to reserve that right. Could it be? Yes. May it not be? Yes. I don't, I don't know right now. And I don't expect to know. But I'm watching the numbers. The trend is great. The trend is great. And if people get their kids vaccinated, I won't worry so much about their kids either. Vaccinated and boosted, everybody over the age of five. And in terms of what's going on in other schools, yes, we, we'll look into that. You know, we're already having conversations with the state education department on making sure that these are followed because they're common sense, it's the right thing to do, it is not permanent. One of my the best days I look forward to, other than being done with our budget this year, is the day I can say, these requirements are suspended, and they did the job they were expected to do. We kept New Yorkers safe. Thank you. Hi, Kristen Thorne with Eyewitness News. Thank you. Given all the positive trend that we're seeing, do you think the February 1st indoor mask mandate, the vaccine requirement, what is your view on that now? And also test to stay. Have you thought about looking at two to five year olds? That preschool, that nursery age, they at this point cannot, they don't have any of this option. Have you thought about them in this picture? Yeah, and 